Habib versus Poirier. Tonight, or you may have seen it already. Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. Smile to Jannah. Alright guys, Habib is normally a chilled guy. Calm, humble, you know how it is. But here, not only was he deprived of sleep, but the journalists asking him the questions were quite possibly the most useless journalists on planet Earth. Because last three months, same question. Father, what do you think about Dustin? He's good, he's, what do you think, you respect him? No, like, how is your training camp? Like 90%. Listen to this French guy. Not only does he ask the most obvious of questions, but he then has the audacity to follow it up again. What I do? Yeah. Training. Training? Yes. And again! Just training? Just training, sometimes I eat, sometimes training, sometimes sleep. <laughs> what I can do with us. Don't make me for the things I did then, that was foul. I've had enough for the drugs and the power, power, power. Sacre bleu! Someone get this guy an English dictionary, a croissant, and show him the door, please. Now when you're an interviewer, couple of days before the fight, you got 10 minutes with Habib, what do you ask him? You can ask him about grappling, striking, being undefeated, right? <coughs> Wrong! You ask him about his dad, again? Uh, it's like big honor, I'm very glad to see him with me in fight week. And again! How good is it for this event that your friends, your family, your father can be with you here in Abu Dhabi? <coughs> yeah, it's my father very exciting about this, like... And again! Till he finally speaks out and says for God's sake guys, how many times do I have to answer the same question again and again? How many times I ask, like give answer about my father? Maybe for this week, maybe I don't, 15 or 20, one question. And right when we think that they've learnt their lesson, Frenchie pops up again with one final attempt to save his career in journalism. Now I know what you're thinking, yeah? Alright, Frenchie's had some time to think about it and you know, he's come up with a good question. Well, you're wrong, I'm afraid. Your father is here. It's the first time, not to you. Uh, you are happy? Wait, Who? Who? Your father in Abu Dhabi at the fight. Your, my father? Yeah, he's here. <laughs> For some reason it seems that when Habib's father lands, the first person who he wants to contact is not his son, yeah? His flesh and blood is some random French bloke. I'm in Abu Dhabi for the first time. Uh, let this uh, random French guy know. Uh, sir, what about your son? Uh, my son, a random French guy. A random French guy. Yeah, tell, tell him to tell my son that I am here. Only about father. No, no. I want to talk only about father, please. When you are outside of Dagestan, what's the most important thing that you I miss my father. <laughs> now this woman tries to change question time into shout out time. But Khabib decided that all she needed was a good old fashioned salam. With a complimentary wave as well. You know, for the kids. I just love Habib's innocence. Look at his face when he genuinely thinks that she's asking him about shadows. Shadow? And I love the nod at the end. Like, yeah. I, I, I know I answered your question, <laughs> I mean you don't need to convince me that I answered your question. And then he's like, yeah come on hurry up, all this talking of shadows is getting me tired. And next up, we know Habib is humble, yeah? But some people think that just because a person's religious or practicing, they are somehow allergic to money, they're pious, they worship all the time. We know that you're going to be earning a, a huge purse for this, but you're also a person so modest and humble you don't seem to really care about money, but do you have any idea what you might do with it or how it might change your life? 
oh, I like money too. Who say I don't like money? <laughs> Everybody like money, you know. But this is not everything about money for me, this book. But of course I like money too. Money is very important. But like same time is like very dangerous too because if money go inside your mind, you know, but you if you have money on your hand, this is good. You can do a lot of stuff. You can you can help a lot of people, but if money go your inside your mind and you think about all the time about money, this one is a problem. So Habib's answer was very balanced, very nuanced, and a lot of us watching when we see a sheikh with a, a good car or a good watch, we're like, <gasps> what's he doing? He could give that money to charity. Why is he doing this? There's nothing wrong with buying good things and looking good. But remember this principle. Think of it like a ship on water. As long as the water stays outside the ship, it's good. It helps the ship. But as soon as the water starts entering the ship, then there's a problem. So similarly, if we apply that same concept to money, as long as the money is outside of our heart, it's good. It'll help us, it'll facilitate us. But as soon as it enters our heart, that's where the problems start. We can't have this mentality that it's an evil thing because we're not going to get anywhere in life. It depends how you use it. All right, guys, let's leave it there. Until next time. Thank you guys. Well done, mate. I love my father. <laughs> Salamu alaikum.